So Microsoft has built Windows Phone 7 entirely from scratch. It's a completely new operating system, and more importantly, nothing like Windows Mobile. Swiping upwards takes you to the start screen where you're met with a very, very good looking design with information arranged radically different to say Apple or Android. And the transitions between pages look really good and are fast without any lag thanks to that compulsory one gigahertz processor. And the wrapping wallpapers and large text look really good on screen. So the OS is divided into six core hubs on the start screen, displayed as live tiles, people, pictures, gaming, music and video, marketplace and office. Now, as you can see, the live tiles or some of the live tiles are interactive and it's a much welcome change given that the multiple home page and static icon setup is getting a tad boring. But they do have something in common though, and that's being customizable, allowing you to whack apps on the app menu onto the start screen. And as far as we know, you can populate it with as many applications as you'd like. And the idea is to be informative without having to do a lot, which it does quite well. And the bonus of being live means information is updated in real time. It's all about keeping in touch. So let's start with the People Hub. Here you'll find all your contacts, a what's new screen for the latest social network updates, which you can comment on directly, and a recent page, which keeps a log of your recent activity. And instead of the usual Facebook and Twitter integration, the focus is on Facebook and Windows Live. So once you sign into your various accounts, including Google, Outlook and Exchange, it syncs contacts, pictures and other information with the phone, putting it all in one easy to access place. Now, Twitter and other social network applications are downloadable from the marketplace. They just won't be integrated into the phone. And as well as an aggregated feed, you'll be able to pin your favorite contacts to your homepage too for quick communication and direct access to their information and activities. Moving on to pictures where content is pulled in from your Facebook and Windows Live accounts, your PC, and of course your camera roll, which you can opt to view together or separately. And it's easy to share as well, although photos will need to be stored locally on the phone in order to do this. Now the background displays one of your latest snaps, and like the People Hub, there's a What's New feed for checking out your friend's latest snaps and photo albums, which you'll also be able to comment on directly. Now a huge part of the Windows Phone 7 experience is entertainment, and this is partly covered by the Xbox Live Hub. And this is the first and only OS to offer such an experience on a phone where you can download games, access and change your avatar and gamer profile, gain achievements, check out recommendations from Spotlight and invite friends to play. Now there's also a free Xbox Live Extras app which aggregates all this information for you as well as tell you who's online, list your gaming achievements and give you access to messages in one very easy to access place. Not only does it work well, but we quite like the idea of earning Xbox Live achievements on the way to work. And forming the other part of the entertainment is the music and video hub powered by Zoom, so expect access to its online music services. Now here you'll find music, videos and podcasts, and you'll need to connect your device with your PC via the Zoom software in order to sync content. There's also radio, and you'll find all your video and music related apps here too, like YouTube, as well as a history of all your recently played items. We found it easy to navigate and you can even control the player when the phone is locked, which is by no means a new feature, but a nice one to have around. Now, there is a lot of pressure on the marketplace and it's not doing too badly. Lots of interesting and common apps have been popping up like eBay, YouTube, Foursquare and Twitter. But there is, of course, always room for improvement. The marketplace basically offers the same kind of experience offered by the App Store. So you can sample songs before you buy them, as well as sync with your PC and share as it's all DRM free. Now, a quick search pulls up results for applications as well as music and albums and it can pull up some pretty interesting results. And I must say, downloads are very quick, and displaying the theme of a featured app in the background adds a pretty nice touch. For many, a phone is for both social and work life, which is where the Office Hub comes in handy. There's Office 2010 integration, so Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, letting you create new documents on the fly and open and view documents as they would appear on a PC. SharePoint has also been integrated into the OS too, to let you take notes on your phone and upload them to the cloud. And then there's OneNote for making quick notes that you can pin on the start screen or send on via email. And in order to write, you need a decent keyboard, which is what's on offer here. It's responsive enough to type quickly, spacious, autocorrect is spot on most of the time, and the word suggestions are pretty helpful as well. Now, obviously the experience depends on the screen size, but this is 3.8 inches and we had no trouble at all. So now let's take a look at everything else. Outside of the hubs are of course the essential features like messages, email, calendar and apps. Obviously Internet Explorer is the browser of choice and it's fast, multi-touch is smooth and judder free. 
you can also have up to six browsers open at any one time. And just like the iPhone, you can pin a URL to the start screen, which is great for quick access. Now the OS has launched without flash support, but we have been told we will see it in future handsets, that and cut and paste. But it does support standard H.264 video in the browser. And finally, there's multitasking using the back button. It remembers where you've been, so it will go back in the order of applications and features visited, and is a great addition to all the Windows Phone 7 handsets. And there you have it, Windows Phone 7. It's an impressive operating system, both visually and practically, and it's a refreshing change from the norm, serving up a brilliant mobile experience. And because of the constraints set by Microsoft, you're more or less guaranteed this experience, no matter what the handset. The new operating system is a combination of a great design with an intuitive integrated experience, firmly making Windows Mobile a thing of the past.